We got here a 2011 Kia Sedona. Customer complaint is it does not crank. A little backstory, they were fixing something with the brake switch and he gave ground and the technician thinks that he blew the computer. So right now there's absolutely nothing when I turn the ignition. So, did you unplug anything? No, I unplugged the battery. Oh, okay, that will do it. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, yeah, we got lights on, but we got no crank. Uh, I'm gonna scan it, because I don't see an engine light, which usually means no communication. We're gonna do an auto scan. I don't think it's gonna be able to pick it up, because I don't believe it could read the computer. I want to see what it could read. It's not reading it. So let's put it in manual. Right, so I have no comment with the ECM. Let's see what it does have communication with. No comment with the ECM, which is probably built in together. EVS. I'm going to start by checking powers to the computer, or at least the fuses to it. All right, we have a diagram here of the engine controls. Now, we're looking for all the battery power coming into the computer, because I'm assuming we blew a fuse. So let's see what we got. We got two lines that say supply. Now, we have to check where that's coming from to see if it's coming from a fuse, or it could be that the computer's supplying power to something else. So over here, yeah, this is supplying power to other stuff. Like you see, it goes to that junction over there, which leads to a bunch of different things. So let's look down. What else we got here? We got, oh, battery power right there. And it connects to another one, another connector to the computer. So let's see where this fuse comes from. Let's go up. You see, it comes from a uh, 7.5 amp fuse powertrain. All right, so we gotta check that fuse right now. All right, we got A. How do you read this? ECU2, ECU1. This little seven and a half inch power train fuse. All right here, fuse 19. 18, 19, this guy right over here. That's good. Try this more. So he gave ground to the brake switch. Now, maybe he did it with it plugged in. If he did it with it plugged in, then the brake switch is normally open. I mean, sorry, normally closed. And then when you push the brake, it opens it up. So if he, it would definitely blow the fuse line. So let's check the brake. Here's a stop lamp switch. Here's the yellow wire. Right here. So he said he gave power here. So if this was plugged in when he did it, it would blow. Let's see. It would come from right here. This power would come from this engine fuse. This 7.5 engine fuse right here. And this is in the instrument panel module behind the sort of dash. So we have to check this fuse first. Now, where does this fuse go to? It comes to the splice. Yeah, on start in. So if it doesn't know this is on, then the computer is not gonna, if it doesn't have power, 
the computer is never going to power up and we're not going to have communication. All right, so let's check that fuse right now. We got a bone fuse. And that is for engine. <laughs> awesome. That's all fixed. Thanks for watching.